Aloha, my family. It is your girl T, aka the Nappy Headed Jehovah, back with a bit of a follow up video. If you hung with me through Vlogmas 2018, you may recall that I started a series called Buy or DIY, in which I compare an over the counter product, so to speak, that claims to do something to a homemade version. I can't remember if it was the first or second one that I did, but I compared this, the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder, to my homemade pre poo detangler that I came up with a few years ago and have tweaked slightly since. I will link all of these videos in the description box as well as some of them in the cards in terms of the actual recipe for my DIY mix, the buy it versus DIY where I compare the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder to my homemade recipe. But spoiler alert, in the comparison, I found that this worked about as well as my homemade uh, mix. The downside was that I just don't feel like it's got all that beautiful, nutritious deliciousness that my homemade mix has for my hair. I feel like this does one thing and one thing only and the price is quite high. Nonetheless, I was still very impressed with how well this worked at detangling my extremely kinky, coily, non clumpin' ass strands. And since it seemed to allow me to detangle my hair as quickly as my mix, I wondered if I combined the two, if I swapped out the base conditioner that I use in my homemade pre poo mix and use this instead, would I indeed travel backwards through space time? Many of you expressed interest in seeing how that experiment would turn out, so I did go ahead and film it, and today I have the results. Let's get into the particulars. I've got notes here on my phone, so I'll just be consulting them as we go through here so I don't get off track. To start off, I used one and a half ounces of this Wash Day Wonder compared to the three ounces of Trader Joe's conditioner that I normally use in my concoction. The reason for that is this is one of the few products where a little bit really does go a long way. Even though it's very expensive, I do commend Diva Curl on coming up with a formulation where you don't need to use a metric fuck ton of product for it to be effective. Based on the amount of slip that this product had straight no chaser in my first attempt using it, I figured I probably wouldn't need to use a full three ounces of it in my mix. Because the consistency of this is much thinner than my Trader Joe's conditioner, the overall overall mix had a much thinner consistency as well. I was actually a bit concerned that it would be too runny to work with, like it would just kind of trickle through my fingers before I would even be able to apply it to my hair strands, but ultimately it was actually okay. It was pretty easy to spread and work through my hair. So that is the rundown of the setup, but let's get into the real nitty gritty of what actually went down when I put that mix in my hair. I really like brandishing this bottle for some reason. I don't know why. So we know it normally takes me about half an hour, you know, roughly 30 minutes to detangle my hair, whether I'm using this or whether I'm using my homemade pre poo concoction. So, drum roll, how long did it take to detangle with this mixed in to my homemade concoction? The answer, still pretty much the same exact amount of time. It took me about 35 minutes to do my whole head that way, so it was pretty much the same as usual. During this particular detangling session, I had not detangled my hair in about a month, and I also did not rush at all just for the sake of this video. I think due to the care I take when I'm handling my hair, trying to be gentle, trying not to rush and rip through my strands, I think 30 minutes, 35 minutes is pretty much the benchmark for how long it will take no matter what due to the standard of care that I have when I'm detangling my hair, if that makes any sense. I'm beginning to think that no matter what, it's always going to be half an hour best case scenario and much longer in, in worst case scenarios. So in the end, this did not buy me any more time or give me any much of a faster detangling session than my mix does normally with my much cheaper Trader Joe's Condish. And I did use almost the entire batch of detangling mix that I had made up. I had a little bit left, but not enough to do another other detangling session, so I wound up just mixing that in with my deep conditioner on that particular wash day. I also didn't really have enough of my mix left over to think that I could reduce the overall size of my batch. I feel like I've got a pretty good sense of how much product I need for my hair to do something, and I feel like that's pretty much going to be the amount. There might be a day where my hair is even more tangled than that, and I would need a little bit more product to get through it all, that kind of thing, so I don't really foresee a universe where I would be able to make a smaller batch and have that be enough either. My hairball at the end of the detangling session was pretty normal for 
me. It was a pretty standard size hairball in terms of how much shedding and breakage I experience in a normal detangling session that takes place after about a month of not having detangled my hair. So I'm slightly surprised and disappointed that it didn't save me any time to use this in my mix, but it honestly felt like it should have. And what I mean by that is while I was actually using it, I was convinced that it was going to be a much shorter TRT for how long that detangling session ran me. And I was pretty, pretty surprised to see that it wasn't. Ultimately, I still can't really justify the price of this based on my two experiences with it so far because it doesn't really save me time and it definitely doesn't save me money. However, I do think that using this in my pre-poo mix is a great way to not only stretch this product, meaning it will help me make the bottle last longer, but it also allows me to get more of those nice emollients and humectants in my hair during my wash day process, which I wouldn't be getting using this straight. Though I don't think I could make a significantly smaller batch to detangle my hair, I think next time around, I will try using just one ounce of this rather than an ounce and a half, and that will also help me to stretch this bottle even longer. If I can get away with using just one ounce per batch of my pre-poo mix, then this 12 ounce bottle would last me quite a few sessions. So now that I have tried mixing this in my pre-poo mix, the verdict is still that I will probably be sticking to my Trader Joe's tea tree conditioner most of the time for my detangling needs. And I might treat myself to this every once in a while, but only with a coupon. I honestly feel like this is a bit like using luxury makeup in a way because it isn't really necessarily doing anything for me that I can't achieve with less expensive products, but because the texture of this product is so nice and elegant, it creates a more enjoyable experience. Like I had actually duped myself into thinking that it had taken me less than half an hour to do my whole head when it actually had not. And so much like with luxury makeup, it really comes down to your skill set more than the product itself in a lot of ways. The luxury product might make it a bit easier on you if your skills aren't there, but if your skills are there, if your skills are on point, you will be able to beat that face, or in this case, beat that detangling session, regardless of the price tag of the product or the formulation. That is it for this one, you guys. I just wanted to follow up and let you guys know what happened with my little experimentation. I do really like this product, but like I said, I will never purchase it without a coupon because it's just so expensive. Unlike luxury makeup, up this literally goes down the drain so while I do quite enjoy this product and I'm happy to have it I will only ever repurchase it if I am feeling spendy and if I have a coupon like I said that is gonna do it for this one but in case you guys did miss those other two videos again they will be linked in the description box as well as right here here is the video where I actually compared my homemade mix to the wash they wonder and here is the updated recipe on my homemade pre-poo detangler aka the greatest detangler of all time of all time thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye that's a, that's a nappy headed hose there i'm gonna take that down <laughs>